was invited by my friends to go to spring training this year and like any plant person I was definitely there to analyze the mow patterns of the grass. The weather was definitely questionable but my friends insisted that we couldn't miss the Giants versus the Oakland A's so of course we rallied. After four hours and two innings I had a lot of time to analyze where the heck did all this water go? How were they able to play two innings at all? They must have great drainage so I took a deep dive on baseball field construction. Let's talk about soil structure. Most major league baseball teams play on a combination of 55% sand, 30% clay, and 15% silt, making it a sandy loam. This is also the perfect type of soil to grow grass from seed. The clay and the silt help absorb the moisture and the sand helps drain it quickly, which is a great combination for a baseball field because you don't want it to get wet and soggy where it sticks to your feet and creates divots in the infield, or you don't want it to be all sand where the soil will be too dry and the ball will bounce around inconsistently. So what type of grass do they use in the outfield? Kentucky bluegrass is by far the most popular, but also Bermuda grass is used in areas where you need to conserve water as it's a little more drought tolerant. You'll also see Kentucky bluegrass mixed with ryegrass if you want a softer field. So who's excited about baseball season? Are you gonna watch the game or are you just going to watch the grass grow and maybe have a beer?